What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So we got three points to spend. Um, which I can get almost anything. 5% more there. The extra 15 on regen might be pretty nice. Hmm. 200% heal could also be pretty nice. I'm pulling an enemy. I wonder if this would work on bosses when I just do the normal pull. Um... Okay. Repelling an attack is 200% benefit from resonance. You know what? Let's just go, uh... Let's go, uh, Let's go regen. An extra 15% stamina regen sounds really nice. We'll take that. Alright, so... Peak of creation. Let's, uh... Let's do it. Let's find out. What is, uh... What awaits for us? Oh, that's... Oh, God. Okay. Oh god. No, fuck, I can't get that. I is there like a can I like pull on this life thread or something? Oh god. And I I didn't know I could double air dash. I'm just uncovering the map as I go. I don't need to get um, one of those things. Finally, making it out to the galaxy.
do I just become another, like, constellation like they do? I think so. This game is so confusing. I am become the galaxy. weakness all right i guess that that is it for real this time um let me let me alt tab here just in case there's some secret ending crime endings is there some super fucking hidden ending thing mm. here's here's a video called grime all endings let's see he he dies to the dude we had that happen and then uh be, oh, so I guess it's just this. This is the good ending. The other one's the bad ending. That's it. All right. Wow. All right. Well, let's let's talk about it. We, you know, end of the game. Time for the review. Um. By far, the, probably one of the most obscure and confusing games, let alone Metroidvanias, I think I've ever played. Um. The gameplay was tight, but there were a couple things that I didn't necessarily agree with from a design perspective uh, like for example you know we get fast travel at the end and that lets us go around and fast travel and get whatever we need to but they locked us out of an optional boss it seems like a very odd choice you know like don't don't you should never lock players out of content um, beyond that personally I, I feel I don't know I feel like we got double jump so so incredibly late into the game and it would have been really nice to have earlier or at least you know not so much have it earlier but but get it earlier so that we could use it in our journey but you know that's more a design choice they made that being one of the final abilities we get uh which obviously lets us get to areas we couldn't get before um one thing i, I really do disagree with is once you get to that area like when we when we uh jumped down into uh the, the city or whatever I was straight up stuck, you know, like, if I, if I didn't have access to Cheat Engine to boost my shit up to 20 to use the new weapon, I would have had to have just, like, just, I guess, muscled through the fight using the, the giant hammer, which I'm sure, in theory, could have worked, uh, but, you know, it's never, I don't know, the point is, it's never good to lock players into a situation where they have one path forward and no other way to progress or try to get better. It's just, it seems like a very odd choice. Um, music was, was okay. Um, I didn't, I don't think the music had anything that really, like, blew me away on the scale of, like, like Ori, Ender Lilies, both of those games, phenomenal score. Um, here it wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it did not blow me away. Uh, I will say I liked the parry heavy nature of the combat here uh, in terms of, of kind of capturing a soul's feeling it does a really good job because this this is very much a get good metroidvania like you need to dodge you need to parry you need to hit there isn't just some you know OP mega combination that you can use and and start shitting all over enemies which I feel like we we found ways to do that uh, in a lot of Metroidvanias in here, this very much boiled down to just get good. So, I, I do respect them there. Um, I mean, all in all, I, I don't know. I'd put this at probably like seven and a half, eight out of ten. Um, it was, it was a fun little game. I got some good time out of it. I mean, 28 episodes, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty lengthy. You know, it's about 14, 15 hours of gameplay. Uh, that's excluding just like the time spent to farm. 
so definitely a, a decent playthrough, but I don't know, the, the, the major downfalls for me with this game, uh, as I mentioned, is the, you know, then locking, locking the player out of certain content, you know, locking me out of the boss, locking me into that one boss zone to where the only thing I can do is fight that boss and I can't leave otherwise. Uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to look at stuff like that and be like, oh yeah, this is a good design choice. But, you know, those things beside, I think they did do a, a pretty fun job with this. So, either way, I um, wish I had gotten hold of this thing sooner. This weapon was, was really nice, having something that's not as slow. But we are going to wrap things up here. Um, as for our next series, the next big thing I'm looking forward to, of course, is the Ghost of Tsushima DLC. That's still a little ways out. So, more than likely, I think we're going to jump into the uh, new... Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC. I liked the last one, so be curious to see if the new one that came out is good. Uh, but either way, wrapping up here. Thanks for tuning on in. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this series, and I will catch you all next time.